Satonia Live, Sportswire Magazine. We are here getting ready for the Hawks to take on the Sacramento Kings tonight. Hopefully they can rebound from that loss in Brooklyn to the Nets yesterday. And of course, they're going to have to do it without Bazemore and Teague. They are still out. But Dennis Schroeder will be coming off of the bench once again, filling in for Jeff Teague. And I'm sure the Cal Corver and Paul Millsap will pick up the slack for Ken Bankmore. Bazemore, that is, will be out of the lineup. So we're getting ready for all of the action, as you can see, starting to fill up. The action is about to start. So let's get ready for game time. Hawks versus the Kings inside Phillips Arena, Satonia Live, Sportswire Magazine. Sacramento Kings, of course, 62 to 52, and of course, big shout out to Justin Holiday. He's filling in for Kent Bazemore, who is out with that sprained ankle, and of course, Jeff Teague also on the bench tonight. So Dennis Schroeder is leading the way, real quick, real fast on that court. I'm telling you, him and Paul Millsap leading the ATL Hawks in scoring. Of course, Millsap has 15, Schroeder has 14, and he's three for seven from the three-point line. So of course, the Hawks putting up a lot of baskets, defending the perimeter, and of course, rebounding like crazy. We need more of that in the third and fourth quarter. Let's see if they can do it. Let's get ready for the second half. It's Sportswire Magazine, Satonia Live. Tony Live Sportswire Magazine. Man, give it up to the Hawks. They finally got back inside the win column tonight, taking their 15th straight win against the Sacramento Kings. It was a little scary coming down the stretch in that fourth quarter, but they pulled it out, unlike the night before where they lost against Brooklyn by, what, two points? Tonight it was a completely different story. Of course, big shout-out to Paul Millsad. He was monstrous, 23 points, 16 rebounds, and, of course, Dennis Schroeder, also 22 points, a season high for him. And, of course, you have to give them props on the turnovers. For the first time, they only had 12 turnovers, unlike the night before where they had 20. Tonight, all of the turnovers belonged to the Sacramento Kings. It ended up hurting them, biting them straight in the butt. And of course, as Coach Bud says, it's good to get back in the win column. Well, I thought the group you know, competed for you know, longer, better. I think our focus, our attention to detail you know, uh, was closer to where we needed to be. And you know, I think we'll just continue to work to get you know more perfect, less mistakes, all of those things. I thought individually, a couple guys, you know, Paul uh, really stood out. You know, Dennis, I thought competed and played well. Tabo off the bench defensively. Um, you know, and Lamar coming in and making some plays. So you know, it's good to get a win. I think uh, you know we obviously needed that. Coach Bud happy with what he saw tonight. And now let's see how the players feel. Let's go inside the locker room of both teams and see what they have to say. I think the last few games we were a little sloppy and we were a little run down. And, you know, um, we had some really poor performances. And so, uh, it, you know, before the game, we didn't really talk about Sacramento a whole lot. We just, I mean, Bud broke down. We finally watched film. We watched film of ourselves and we watched our mistakes. And he pointed out where we have to be better and really challenged us. And, we still didn't play a perfect game, but I thought we competed harder, and that's what we have to do to be a good team. So, uh, no, I think we started off the game pretty well, but um, like that mid part of the game, I think we just had a bad stretch. And uh, even with that being said, as bad as we did play, we still had a great chance of winning the game. But uh, it was a couple of men, uh, a couple of mental mistakes that we, you know, messed up. So uh, we got to bounce back tomorrow and get another. 
Got to love that. I believe that sums everything up. And we're getting ready to hit the road and take on Cleveland. LeBron James and the Cavs is going to be a tough one. But I believe if the Hawks keep it together, keep that rhythm together, play like they did tonight, shouldn't be a problem. Of course, they'll be doing it without Kyrie Irving. So could be an opening for the Hawks as we need it right now. Currently standing at number three in the East. That's if Chicago does not win tonight. If they do, then of course we're going to stay right exactly where we're at. If they lose, we could move up right back where we were behind Cleveland. So we'll see what happens. Satoni Alive, SportsWire Magazine, closing out for tonight.